What in the hell have we gotten ourselves into? The golden era of the bodybuilding diet. It was a different time and options were limited. Having nowhere near the overwhelming selection of food choices, these former champions kept it old school. Whole foods, nothing processed, minimal sugar, and with most workouts lasting more than two hours, they would eat, eat, eat. For some, this included one gallon of whole milk a day. Today, two buff dudes from the modern era will attempt this old school diet. Will they survive? Let's find out. Reg Park on eating. I like to eat like a king, but only food that was good for me. My favorite food is steak, which I sometimes eat twice a day. We are at the grocery store and it's time to get ourselves the old school golden era diet. They stuck with whole foods, they didn't have processed, they didn't have a lot of selection. So they just went with the basics and the great thing is the basics work. So we're gonna grab some of that stuff right now. They also didn't have masks, but times have changed a little bit. So it's gonna look a little bit different than it did in the 1960s. Now everyone looks like Mortal Kombat characters. <laughs> oh, milk. Cheese. Ground beef. Flex eggs, cottage cheese, coffee. One of the pieces of lore of Golden Era bodybuilding is that they drank a gallon of whole milk a day because a gallon of milk is very nutrient rich. You got a lot of calories, a lot of protein, which could be hard to find back in the day. So. I gotta get this started now. I'd say that's about 1 20th. I got a lot of milk drinking to do before this day's over. Ken Waller on eating. I eat four eggs and a piece of meat almost every meal. People say that's not good for you, but no way am I ordinary people. one is underway it's the big ass bodybuilding omelet and as I was eating it I loved every single bite had plenty of whole milk and now that I've had a little time to let it digest damn I am really full I'm very satiated and at the moment I'm thinking the last thing I want to do is get a two-hour workout in but we got to get it done because a lot of times back in the day they didn't really track calories or macros that wasn't really a thing until the 80s the early 90s back then they just really ate consistently it was a lot of whole foods it wasn't processed the sugars were a little lower and surprisingly at least for me the carbs were lower as well they had a lot of proteins and they had a lot of fats most of it coming from meats and dairy so in order to really stay big and then know when to lean down. They kind of just ate the same things day in and day out. They would have these whole foods. If they wanted to add a little mass, they had a little bit more. And if they wanted to lean down a little bit, they'd throw a little cardio in there. So it's pretty simple, but the great thing is looking at those old school bodybuilder physiques, it worked. Sergio Oliva on eating. I would drink a gallon of milk every day and I would drink two gallons of water a day. In the light of eating like an old school bodybuilder, we're gonna work out like one too. And these guys pretty much stuck with very basic and well-known compound exercises. We're gonna be doing some upper body today. Uh, bent over rows, flat bench press, incline, pull downs, all the real classic big movements you can do. And of course, we're gonna be supersetting as well because these guys always hit it hard when they're in the gym. They not only did supersets, they did very high volume. So they're doing four to five sets each exercise. And a lot of times it would pyramid, starting with a lighter weight, going 12 repetitions, and then slowly working up in weight as they drop the repetitions down to around eight reps. We've done workouts like this in the past. And I gotta say, we're huge fans of it. We got a lot of benefits from it and a lot of results. So it's kind of cool to go back to this kind of working out 
it just feels damn good. And of course, when you're fueled by all that food, all that milk, you're ready to hit it hard. In the 1960s and the 1970s, bodybuilding or working out really in general and gyms were nowhere near as popular as they are now. It was really a niche thing. So you had to travel somewhere like the Mecca, Venice, California, in order to meet a whole bunch of like-minded people. And it was a very small community, a very tight-knit community. And these guys really inspired each other. They roamed around in a pack. They're almost like a gang. And I really love looking back at those old schoolers because a little bit of that is lost, I feel, in a way. And that really happens with anything when it gets exposure. It can be a good thing, but then you lose that little special thing you had in the past. Maybe probably the way some people who attended the first Comic Cons feel. Maybe some of the people who attended a Metallica concert back in the Bay Area in the day. That was their thing. They felt they stumbled on, and it's almost like they found a treasure before everyone else had. So. That era may be gone, but thankfully it's captured. We can still relive it and we can still do workouts such as this, which kick your ass and kind of make you feel a little bit like those old schoolers, if even for just a day. Larry Scott on eating. Basically, I eat a lot of meat, cheese, and eggs. I like cottage cheese and meat, mostly beef in various forms. I eat almost no carbohydrates and very few vegetables. Hello, my name is Steve Reeves, and it looks like you just had some strenuous exercise. Now, it's time to have my custom shake, which will build that lean body mass. Let's get started. You will need 14 ounces of freshly squeezed orange juice, one tablespoon of gelatin, one tablespoon honey, one banana, four raw eggs, pasteurized of course, three tablespoons of egg whites, a quarter cup of skim milk, and one third cup of soy protein. Making my custom Steve Reeves protein shake is easy. Begin with the orange juice first and then continue by adding each ingredient one after the other. Plop all those vitamin packed nutrient filled bodybuilder items into your blender and once you're finished, hit puree. Whether you're off to play Hercules or just finished hitting the weights, this protein packed protein shake is sure to be a hit. Now that is a good shake, made by me, Steve Reeves. If you want to gain muscle, try my shake. It's delicious. Serge Nebre on eating. I eat a lot of red meat, rice, and beans. Sometimes six pounds of red meat a day when training for competition. One of the hallmarks of old school bodybuilders was their legendary tanning sessions on the beaches of Southern California. This isn't quite Southern California, but the sun is out, so we feel like it's a good time to get some tanning in. Oh, here we go. Where's the baby oil? Baby oil! Yeah. You know, I think the baby oil was a bad idea. Yeah, definitely. We're gonna need about three gallons of aloe vera. The workout is finished. We had our post-workout protein shake, and now it's time for lunch. I gotta be honest, I'm still feeling kind of full. It's that dairy, I think, more than anything is hitting me really hard, specifically the milk, but we have a mission. That's to eat like old school bodybuilders for a day, so we're gonna keep going on. We're gonna be making hamburger patties for lunch. Throw it in the grill, yeah. Old school bodybuilders, yeah. Eggs are done, got a little bit of cheese on them, and we couldn't forget our greens. So we sauteed up just a little bit of spinach. We got some tomatoes on there. And of course, this meal wouldn't be complete without a little bit more dairy. So we're adding some cottage cheese, and there we go. This is lunch. It's a whole bunch more calories to put in these stomachs of ours, and we're gonna do it because we need all the fuel we can get. We're gonna be eating this and then going for workout number two. Colombo on eating. The food was very different. Arnold liked to cook hamburgers a lot. And I said, I don't like hamburgers, Arnold. And then a couple of times he used to burn them. And then I said, oh good, now I don't have to eat them. We're back in some very familiar surroundings because it's time to hit workout number two. We did upper body earlier and now it's time to do some lower body. And speaking of number two, I think we're gonna have to strap on those buff dudes diapers because I've drank quite a few milk and I may be lactose intolerant. <laughs> we're about to find out. <laughs> Dave Dre. 
scraper on eating. Our diets were high protein with an accent on meat and milk products, medium carbs with plenty of salad and fresh fruits, and medium fats with no fried food or junk. This is about half the size of you. It turned the go mask. Yeah. <laughs> but you laugh. I can do it. Here we go. Last little bit. Uh, uh, wow. For a second there, I didn't think I was able to do it, but buff dudes prevail. Yeah. see how big I could get. So I would consume eight to 10,000 calories a day and trained heavier to put on size. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I feel a little bloated. Yeah, just a little bit. I feel like if someone was to punch me in the gut right now, that gallon would be um, priced, it would repaint our bodies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, be like the exorcist. Instead of pea soup, it'd be a <laughs> gallon of milk. Wouldn't be coming out of the mouth. <laughs> It'd be coming out an orifice, but not the mouth. We're on the ground because our legs don't work anymore. Yeah, that was pretty intense. Upper body, lower body shot. Stomach is kind of shot. Those, those guys were rough. They were tough back then. Oh, yeah. And I got to say, I think I would probably feel pretty damn good if not for that damn gallon of milk. That was probably the roughest part, I would oh, yeah. say. You know, I mean, it's even hard to get a gallon of water a lot yeah, of times during yeah. the day. And I mean, a gallon of milk. And then, of course, you still have to feel like you're hydrating. I mean, yeah. during your workout, you're trying to sip on milk a little bit, but you go back and like, I just need some water, you know? So you just feel so full all the time. I would be interested to try this again with the two workouts. I like the old school. I love how they didn't have processed foods, how it was like single ingredient. But man, the milk. And I mean, they ate that much, close to 5,000 calories, but when you're working out twice a day, you feel like that's okay. It doesn't feel like yeah. too much because you're kind of using that energy, yeah. but it was a very interesting experiment. So now, if you'll excuse us, we're gonna uh, use the restroom facilities. Yeah. Not at the same time, <laughs> but we'll, uh, we'll We're gonna rush to it and whoever beats who first gets <laughs> yeah, exactly. out. And the second person is basically gonna have a living hell. Get up, get up, get up.